The Resilient Environmental and Agricultural Caribbean Habitat Reach Project aims at assisting small farmers and their communities in managing and reducing the risks associated with the effects of climate change on the agriculture sector. Part of the project involves the installation of an automatic weather station to collect climatic data, facilitate research, and to assist with predictive measures for pests and diseases. Soil moisture sensors were also installed as a water conservation tool to facilitate precision irrigation as a means of improving the quality of crops that can be grown. National Coordinator for the REACH project, Felix Jaria, explains the weather station measures a number of parameters including wind run, rainfall, leaf wetness and sunshine. So the aim is, for example, if we look at um, pest and disease, there is a predictive um, uh, model that has been developed using the climatic data and could be made specific to the location you are. So based on the data collection, uh, one can ascertain the prevalence of uh, a particular pest and disease at, at a particular time of the year. So farmers can be proactive in the way they approach things. Um, there's also a component where we want, we want to collect the data so that we can make it available to farmers at a, at, um, on a real-time basis so that they know what was the rainfall that fell last night. So they look at their, 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 their cell phones and they can collect the data from their cell phones and ascertain what, what is the rainfall. Do I need to irrigate, for example? I don't need to irrigate because it, five millimeters of rain fell last night. So there's no need to irrigate today. Mr. Jaria informs that the station was strategically placed at the Safa Lewis Community College to also allow students to utilize the data collected. So it serves the college farm. And so the, the students in their research projects can also make use of the data, but it also serves the general community or, or the entire catchment of Denry actually can, the data is representative for the entire catchment. So whatever data is, is, is collected here um, can be utilized across the, 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 the catchment area and probably even beyond. But for now we are targeting the catchment area and to, to, to use the data to predict for the, the catchment area and we find that the college farm is, is ideal because there are a number of different crops being grown and there are a number of students who come around here so it's multifaceted in terms of its objective um, whilst we collect data students can learn how to utilize the, the, the data as well as see the instruments and have a better appreciation for the instruments and the data that's been collected. The REACH project continues to work closely with the Water Resource Management Agency to increase the resilience of the agriculture sector in St. Lucia. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.